Aliasing is the effect of an insufficient sampling, when a signal is digitized. The effect results in a false digitized signal with a frequency lower than that of the original analog signal. The frequency of the aliased signal can be anywhere from DC up to one half of the sampling frequency. According to the Nyquist theorem, the sampling frequency must be at least twice the highest frequency contained in the signal to avoid aliasing. The Nyquist criterion guarantees that there are enough sample points to properly reconstruct the signal, provided the signal is a sine wave. Clearly, if the signal is composite and contains several frequency components, the sampling frequency must be at least twice the highest frequency component. An ideal square wave is an example of such a signal. It contains infinite frequencies, theoretically making it impossible to properly digitize. Aliasing could happen in movies, in a situation called wagon wheel effect. This is the effect when moving wheel seems to stand still or the propeller of an airplane appears slow. It could also happen in digital texts and pictures, causing them to look blurry. Aliasing happens in acoustic too. It translates to poor sound quality and static. It translates to poor sound quality and static. An oscilloscope can be used to illustrate the effect of aliasing on a signal. Consider a 10 MHz sine wave. When the time base of the oscilloscope is properly set, the oscilloscope sampling rate is sufficiently high to prevent aliasing, and the signal appears normal. However, at bigger time scales, the oscilloscope sampling rate is lowered and the Nyquist criterion is no longer met. This causes aliasing, making the frequency and the shape of the signal dramatically different. A sampling frequency equal to the signal frequency results in a solid line. Notice that since the two frequencies cannot be made exactly the same, the line is not stable. To prevent oscilloscope aliasing, either an anti-aliasing filter must be used, or the oscilloscope must be able to sample the signal according to the Nyquist theorem.